What's up everyone, it's your favorite mind chick back on your screen with another vlog. As you can see, I just got my coffee. It's a little too late for this, but hey, this is probably one of the best lattes I've had in over a month. It's from a specialty coffee shop that opened during the panorama, so thumbs up to this one. So now we're ready for another trip. Coffee was really good, but was it worth $7? Mm, can't say that. I cannot say that. I don't think it was a good idea to have caffeine anyway with this day six of the migraine coming in and out. I'm calling it that even though I can't technically say it's that. It's only here, it's in my jaw, it's also in my shoulder and sometimes the pain radiates to my back. It's really weird like that. So I'm gonna do a little counter to the caffeine. Get healthy with it, get healthy with it. I figured a midday smoothie never hurt anyone. I'm still confused. I've been talking to you guys for two weeks about these bananas that haven't ripened. I don't know, man. They shouldn't have put them on the floor if they weren't ready to ripen. I'm gonna Google. I'm sure YouTube has an answer for that. But in the meantime, luckily, I have a new batch because I need a frozen banana. Do I want a spinach mango pineapple smoothie or a almond date do you feel for anyone who has chronic pain because the last couple days this is a no it's just a no so i'm gonna put okay here's my theory and it's probably really way out there so if i'm reaching so far pull me back over the ledge i notice that my eyes feel worse when i'm straining and my left eye has worse vision so i'm wondering if it's because my vision diminished again i noticed in the last week if my left eye is trying so hard that it's training that it's pulsating in my head and then my neck is hurting because I'm always leaning forward but I'm also kind of leaning to the left and I sleep on my left side. I don't know. That's a weird theory, huh? At least a Sunday is this, guys. I told myself just lie down on this side of my head because I usually sleep on this side just for a little bit. I get up an hour later. What's worse is I went over to my computer to see if my footage uploaded yet so I can at least make up for last time, start editing my vlog. It's not even half up. What's that? Let me have a little piece of candy since it's Easter today. 40 days, no sugar, so I didn't add it to my coffee. So even the coffee I had today out of instinct, I didn't ask for a sweetener. I actually like coffee like that now. I mean, it's still lattes all day, every day. But I used to sweeten them a little bit. Now they're not sweetened at all, so I can really tell if it's good coffee or not. All these candies to chew from, I'm not gonna eat them at once. Imagine I go into sugar shock after not having sugar for how many days? Which one should I try? I'm gonna try these ones. Like, I think if my face gives it away, I'm not really enjoying this as much as I would maybe a month ago. You know what I'm really craving? Like a good pastry. I was trying to think today when I was picking a cafe, are there any cafes I want to go back to that I loved that have bomb pastries? The only one I could think of was Fika, but it's too far. Yeah, I know, the same it. I should have baked today. That's what I should have done. Uh, should I do 10? I feel like I've grown. Either way. Morning guys, it's Monday. Another week, another gym sesh. You know we bad about it. Oh. I'm just gonna do some arms, I already did my cardio. I love how peaceful it is in here. I think that also means that the air purifier isn't on. Okay, I don't even think I remember how to do this. It's been over a week. With the arm, shoulder, neck, head pain, I didn't think it'd be a good idea to do this. Back. One. I don't remember what I'm doing. sign of the times the girl's definitely losing it i threw away my mask sometimes mondays just be like this why did i throw my mask in the trash i mix it up with the wipes now i gotta scrub it up, 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 up. yesterday i lost my mask too i don't know what's going on 
Is it true no mass at the end of April altogether? I think it's better that I have a smoothie, keeping much better than caffeine, and cheaper too, because it's in my own house, you know? There's so many things I should be saving up for, and those twice a week or weekly coffee dates are adding up real quick. Wow, oh, you cut them so good. These freezer burned ones though. I love Hawaiian pizza. Do you like pineapple on pizza? I feel like it's either a love it or hate it kind of thing. I used from an hour ago, that's pretty gross. At least it doesn't taste bad, thank God. It's because I didn't put kale in there today. You have to be very picky when you put kale into a smoothie. My lips are so dry because I had the space heater on just before I clicked on to talk with you guys. Vlog is done, it's 1.45. A little later than I would like, especially since I want it to be done at the grocery store, you know. The far away one takes me about 45 minutes to get to. So I'm gonna put on some pants. I can feel, I only turned off the space heater literally 30 seconds ago and the tips of my fingers are already cold. I'm not anemic, but I'm always cold. That's just, this country is not for me. I need to go back to where my ancestors came from, the Caribbean, okay? So I'm happy this video is uploading. I don't know what the name of this restaurant was. I spent a good 20 minutes trying to find so I could tag it like I usually do, but I don't know, so. I was complaining. What the heck? Bomb. Why is a snack crockle pot up in here? You take it out of the microwave and it's not even hot. It's like, what was all that noise for? But anyway, I have to re-upload this video. It's now a little after two because I realized two parts were done wrong. But then, ooh, hot. It is hot. Pizza Hut? Listen, it's a very guilty pleasure. It's perhaps the most oily, thick, you know, I'm not really big on deep dish. I prefer thin crust, how about you? But this is where it's at. I can't believe I've been in this neighborhood for four years and I never knew there was a pizza hut down the street. Crazy. Maybe it's a good thing because then I would have a pizza face from all the oil. My favorite, Panago, Pizziolo, Pizza Nova, Pizza Hut, anything. And then Pizza Pizza's not on the list. Straight bummy with this one. I'm glad that I did though, because it started to rain on the way back. I ran to catch the bus. Two big bags. I still don't get everything I need though. That's the one thing that I hate about going to the faraway grocery store. It seems every time I go, they're sold out of something essential. But what I did get, sponges. I got some more tea. I'm not really big on tazzle tea, but that ginger green tea, whew, that's where it's at. And then some more of those sweet potato crackers. I'm gonna try out these ginger ones. I do wanna make my own ginger snaps. People liked it the last time I made it. Like I gave it to a few friends. Ooh. You know, I always wanna have like little appetizer things in case people come over and they want snacky snacks. Celery. I might make a green juice. I got a zucchini. I got a, what is this? Portobello? Portobello. No, shucks. I had a feeling I had a brand new one here. I guess that we know what we're eating tonight. I got a plantain. I'm gonna make olive oil cake. A lot of times when I see things on sale nowadays, it's the regular price that they were like six months ago. It's crazy. The difference of like two, three dollars. I asked you guys in a past vlog if your grocery stores were like that and a couple of you guys said it was. I was so shocked. I was hoping it was only a Canadian thing. I also got, I don't know why she wrapped it in paper towel. Like this is doing it. Since I broke my glasses last week. Oh, ratchet. But this dollar store literally has, look at this, they're potatoes. I try not to buy too many potatoes at once. I'm still traumatized from a couple years back when I left them at the top. First of all, why did I think it was okay when heat rises to put potatoes at the top shelf? First mistake. But I left them there and I forgot. And one day I came home and I'm like, wow, the vents really are letting in whatever's happening with the neighbors into my place. No, no, girl. When I looked, it was a slimy mess. I used bleach, I used Clorox, I used anything your heart could ever imagine. It took me two weeks of wiping every day, a little bit, to get the smell out. It was that bad. I don't have any enemies, no ops, but if I had ops, I wouldn't want them to go through that. I thought it was just raining outside, but look, that, <sighs> Canada.
wasted my lunch break. I went to the Sheridan store because they have a warranty. So if your plant dies before a month or whatever it is, they'll exchange it. But they didn't have one. They had a bigger one, so I'd have to pay the difference. And I also was like, I'm not spending extra money for the same thing to happen again. Because I feel like this happened as soon as I watered it. But he said, no, no, it's underwatered, which is perplexing to me since when I bought it, it was lighter than when I brought it in today. I walked 25 minutes away for him to say that I could exchange it for a bigger, more expensive one, which I don't think would fit in that planter. But then the problem really is that it needs to be watered, just flushed out, water again, flush out. Ooh, shoot, you see it leaking? Chop, this is the type of day I'm having today. I went to get my nail fixed because she didn't do it properly in the first place. And I was like, how much? Because I feel like if I'm there, you can charge me for your time. And she's like, $5 a nail. Well, damn. I didn't expect it to be that expensive for you to fix what should have been fixed the first time around. She's like, we won't charge you. And I'm thinking, okay. She said, we won't charge you this time. This time. I think I'm just gonna get her to do my nails from now on because the first person, I don't even think she comprehended what I wanted. And then I went to this fourth store because remember I opened this last week? I ended up exchanging it because the first bottle, look how empty it is. This is $50 and it has so much air. Not only that, when I sprayed it to kind of test to see if this one wore longer than the last one, it smells better because the other one smelled a little off, but this one lasts half as long, which is not nearly as long as the full size lasted when I tested it on my body last fall. I go to exchange it. She's like, oh, we don't do refunds on exchange products. You can get a store credit. I'm like, that's strange because I could have sworn that I've had a really dried up eyeliner before that I had to exchange twice and finally return because I'm like, I'm over this. Needless to say, how is it that I call customer service because I'm like, I don't see that anywhere in the receipt. That's a weird reason, whatever. So I just did, well, not me with the granola package. Hashtag nasty. <laughs> like putting it here is any better. Anyways, I just wrapped up doing an accessibility testing. So for those of you who don't know, because I didn't know this a year ago, there are businesses and companies and organizations who are looking for people like me to make sure their ish is up to par. I was gonna say up to quality, but that's not necessarily what it is. So I'm an accessibility tester for this company and I just wrapped up an hour session where I have one person from the company overseeing via Zoom what I'm doing with a with an app or with a website to make sure that it's actually accessible for visually impaired people. So all the times when I struggle either by putting in my email address wrong or not being able to zoom in enough because it's too small font, that really matters because hopefully these companies, whether they're small scale or multi-billion dollars, will work with their tech crew to make sure that it's actually modified and what's the word? Optimized, there we go optimize for people with vision loss so you smell me that's lv walk around with my chest out of my skin smooth i'm healthy i'm in me clearly obsessed with this cookie and the show <laughs> morning guys i was so not well this morning that i did 17 minutes on the elliptical i had to get off go upstairs and rest for over half an hour i came back downstairs finished my 35. now i'm going to do a little bit of abs and arms. These arms are not growing at all. So, this is getting better. Oh. For time. I like girls that's down to earth. Find another bottle. I mean that oats are actually not good for you. I swear every day they switched up. I heard olive oil is bad for you. Today in the world of nutrition is something different. That's probably the reason why I didn't continue with that. Well, there's many reasons why. Including that the cannabis food guide is not very accommodating to other cultures and cuisines. It's actually very bland if you ask me. I had a few errands to run today. I want to upload. Well, first I gotta edit the video that I want to upload. It seems so sunny, but I'm wearing wool because it's zero degrees. How is it April 20th?
Louis want to slice. I wish it would try to put me on ice. I ain't never had to chase in my life. The experience at my cookie was one of the best I've had in such a long time. Highly recommend. Now I'm back home. I wanted to stay and chill longer, but I have things to do and I would just be delaying it now. But I want, I want three packages for one order. Makes me look like a shopaholic. I'm gonna do a little try on haul today. I haven't done one on YouTube in a minute. I've done a few on TikTok and they do really well. Well, actually I think they do better on Instagram reels, but whatever, same deal. What is this? These suck. It's crazy. Does this brand even exist anymore? Little Nasca. Back in the golden era of YouTube, it was so easy to get caught up with all the collections and new brands coming to Canada. I get my energy back. I feel like I can't even walk out because my head hurts so much. that today went from being so gloomy and rainy to sunny and beautiful. Got some eggs. Never thought I would see the day in that $5 for eggs would be a sale. That is so insane that they were $7 regular price. Price. These ones are $3, I think? I don't know. I just want to use them for baking. And I got the second half of the shipment, so I'll film the rest of the video today. So, okay, let me tell you guys a super random story. So here goes me. I'm just about to hop on the subway, but I wanted to get something out of my bag, so I stopped. And I did stop in front of the door, but I wasn't blocking anyone. There was another set of door and no one coming through. But then I noticed there was a being behind me, so I look back and there's a girl. And I'm still rummaging through my bag because there's another door she can go through. It takes me a good 10 seconds to realize she's waiting for me to open the door so she can go through. I know the panning has done a lot. It's done a number on a lot of people, but you mean to tell me are your arms broke? You can't open the door yourself? I'm not a bellhop boy. I don't work at a hotel. I ain't got to open the door for you. So I took my time, found my Metro card. And in that time, I guess she got tired of waiting because she opened the door next to me and I guess her arms still work. So I thought that was so weird. How to clean copper. And I was very skeptical because it said salt and vinegar. I said like the chips, but look at this. Are you seeing the difference between the side I just did? Looking nice. And this side, like rust wear. This is sorcery over here. I thought I was going to have to scrub a dub dub. Nope. Just whoop, look at that, one swipe, two swipe, three swipe. If I just go like this, it's gone. Guys, I'm literally super shook by this. Brand new, brand stinking new. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, another day, another battle with this blender. Sometimes if I tilt it on its side, it pops. This one is kale, spinach, mango, pineapple, oat milk, matcha, and honey. Spicy banana. <laughs> out your intestines, it helps with and add to a smoothie, add protein like chia seeds or when I add protein powder, obviously. But this has no protein in it. It's actually higher in iron, manganese, magnesium, zinc, folate. So that's very interesting. Wow, talk about service. I started to take out my bag. He's like, can I pack that for you? It's not even the brand bags. So I was like, okay, sure. Super sweet. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and prep my meal and then do some other stuff for work. Random, but I'm so happy they steam clean these floors. They finally don't smell like dog anymore. Two weeks. Smell like wet dog down there, so I'm so happy that they're steam cleaning it. it smells fresh and nutty. Anyway, <clears throat> as you can tell, I'm a serious Scientologist over here. Speaking of, I really want to get Te Matcha 26. If you know, you know. But yo, have you seen that price tag in Canadian dollars though? Mm -mm. Instead, a treat for me. I've been craving these. And obviously, since I was off of sugar for Lent for 40 days and 40 nights, it's actually more than 40 days. All these years I've been doing Lent, I never realized that Sundays don't count in the 40 days. I see you, Jesus. A year ago, I think you could get avocados for a dollar fifty. Now, two fifty—it's like snaps them up. Oh, you can. Ever tried these? Really good alternative. I'm not 
celiac, gluten-free, anything free actually, but anytime I feel like I'm not settled or I don't want to do the most because pasta can be a little bit much to break down in the body, I go with this. Ooh, OJ Tan. Six o'clock on the dot, time to see about supper. I wrapped up filming as soon as I was like, and eh, cut. My fridge turned on. I was like, yes, God is good all the time. God is good. This is the first time I've ever burned a tea light. And I'm so weird. I didn't even burn the tea light Zara gave me. I'm still sad and devastated that we no longer have a Zara home in Toronto. Here. Oh no, it's not hot. You don't really see lanterns like this. And I thought it was such a nice touch. And eventually, because I'm not gonna live here forever, when I live somewhere with more space, balance, let's say balance. So I would have loved to have two, like one on each nightstand, but now that they're out of business in Toronto and they don't sell this online, that dream is gone. Edit this video so that it's up tomorrow morning. I'm loving these Atlanta breakdowns. Just that I love the show, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's also that I get to talk about current events because so many of their topics actually lead into trending topics too. And I really miss the salmon, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, X nail on the potatoes. I don't know, I'm not really feeling potatoes. I can scratch that and instead make black rice. Do I even have black rice left? Yes, nope, that's jasmine. So we're gonna do basmati, even though I'm not making Indian dish. Anything tomorrow. See, like I'm so confused. Why did I take chicken to thaw it if I wasn't gonna make chicken tonight? I was wondering why did all my plans die in the last couple weeks? And then I realized the only thing that really changed besides me turning on the space heater in spring because it's been cold is that I've been feeding them tap water because all this time, I know this sounds so extra, but it is what it is when you're a plant lady. I would boil the water, bring it down to room temperature and then water them. I haven't been doing that because I'm like, wait, if I can drink the tap water, so can the plants. But this is what happened and this is why I don't want to put tap water in my body anymore. It was me trying to make the batter for tomorrow's crepes while dishing out, sharing out my meal for tonight. Does the rice from the rice cooker not fall into the flour? If I had flour to waste, I would throw the whole thing away, but your girl sifted and the situation is sorted. I want it to be juicy. Guys. So I woke up an hour late and I was on the phone for 50 minutes and I should have been down here working out, so we're super late. I got on the elevator, it starts going down, but it goes up, all the way up. And I don't look all the way up, so I'm so confused. Then some guy that I know from years ago, because I've been living here for a minute, gets on, and we make small talk about coffee. He's like super shy, super tall, but super shy. And then this other lady gets on, she hears us talking about coffee, so when he gets off, she just assumes, I guess, that I'm a chatterbox. Everyone in this building is super friendly, except the new movements. Some of them haven't gotten the memo yet that this is a very cheerful building, but I digress. So anywho, when he gets off to go get his coffee, she starts saying, oh, you're really fit. I'm like, oh, thanks, I go to the gym a lot. And then she's like, oh, I used to be fit before my leg broke. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear. So anyway, she said she's gonna come back to the gym one day because of me. And I'm like, that makes me feel good. You know, you always wanna make, you always wanna, how do I say this? You always wanna help people actualize or get back into their best lives. At least that's why I do. Anywho, enough chatting for me. This dude, what did you do? <laughs> My face is so dry. I tried to do, I tried a new cleanser today. Mm -mm. It smells interesting. It smells very weird. It smells like a fake botanical. Like it's trying to be natural, but it's super synthetic. I'm not even gonna tell you what the brand was because just no. And honestly, that brand is usually really good. So I don't know what happened with this sample, but not for me. First of all, I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there. I am the returning queen. If I don't like something, I want my money back. I don't care. It may be embarrassing. I hate to say it, but the way I see it, especially with inflation, especially with prices going up, if you don't love something, if it doesn't say what it's supposed to do, if it doesn't do what it says it does, send it back. That's how I feel. Especially since a lot of these companies have, they don't lose money. In fact, they actually have insurance on that. Remember that perfume I showed you last vlog or the vlog before? Very conscientious of, not the nuisance I'm causing, because I'm not rude, but just that these people have other things to do. I always think about that because it's usually the people that have the most 
petty problems that come into the store and then you have a million and one things to do. At least that's how it was when I was working. Okay, this is already looking like it's not, I'm scared guys. I have a feeling this is not gonna be good. I don't know if it's not the butter that was not properly melted or the fact that I didn't use real milk. We'll see in a moment. So anyway, long story less long because there's so many details. So I politely escalated it. And now this lady's trying to tell me about past purchases and returns that have nothing to do with this perfume. So I just had to kindly set her straight. And I'm just thinking if I was rude in the first place, I would have gotten what I want because I've seen it happen. People have done it to me, but I don't want to be that person. You know what I mean? It's not gonna work. I think you need the fat from real milk and cashew milk is the fattiest of milk alternatives, but it's not fatty enough. Do I have to do this again tomorrow morning? Trash. I thought cashew would be fine. I've seen recipes online with it. Falafel time. One door closes, open another, I guess. Last one. I haven't had one in over 50 days. Not that anyone's counting. <laughs> Uh, not what I had in mind, but I'm sure it'll do. I mean, as long as I have something in my system until lunchtime, right? Okay, so let's turn this on for a little ambiance. I'm gonna have my super late breakfast, and then I'm gonna edit and upload. It's three o'clock. I wanna leave in half an hour because the subway's closed yet again. What's new? It's been literally two months straight. They used to alternate, but they don't anymore. I have no idea what I wanna wear. I don't know what we're doing after dinner, but dinner's super cash, but I don't want to be caught slipping in a hoodie if we go out somewhere that I want to look bad, you know? So it's kind of like, do I wear a party underneath and put a hoodie on top for Sugo? Like, what's a girl to do? Now I'm kind of rushed because if I take any longer, does that mean I should bring an umbrella too? Oh, yo, 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 yo. This is what happens when you wait until the last minute on top in case I'm cold. Or should I wear a cardigan one? I don't know. I'm so all over the place. Where's the tag for this thing? Seriously? I'm gonna have time for this. I hear it. <laughs> there we go. And a little bit of Carolina Hakera. This is the Supreme. I just, I never know which part to press to make it spray though. <laughs> okay, a little here and a tiny bit here. I'm trying to get into the habit of not smushing my wrists together. It's so hard. <sighs> Strong habits die hard, you know? See, this is my worry. These jeans are already tight as it is. Last year, like, what's this? <laughs> tight in the front, loose in the back. Last year when I bought them, they were loose and I bought them because I'm like, if ever I want to eat pasta like I am today, I want to have space to fill it out. I didn't predict that I would gain weight in my waist area ah. so more core workouts I don't mind gaining weight but I don't want to just have a Teletubby belly you know look at Amanda wearing the sunglasses inside I know I like them it's so warm in here. After you got restaurant and mostly we're not trying to be like North American places and you do feel it when you come in here we're way more European but we are in Toronto and there are constant complaints about how Toronto is not the greatest city because you don't have the best olives because they are in Turkey you don't get the cheapest olive oil because it's in Spain you don't get the oldest pubs because they're also located in Europe you don't get the greatest architecture because it's just too far but you know what's really incredible about this city and what literally no one else has in the world is because we have 
people from every part of the world sitting in the same f***ing room, most likely speaking more than 50 languages. And of all the harm that ever rise up. Nice border too. Chicken and pork.